So here we go. This is what I have in my tank. It's the branching frog spawn, the branching torch, and branching hammer varieties of Euphelia. I'm going to go over each one and tell you guys how I've been successful at keeping them and a few tips and tricks that might help you out as well. Alright, first I'm going to start off with these branching hammers. Branching hammers are a low to medium light coral and a low to medium light flow. Um, I've always had the best success with low flow, low light. I have kept these at the bottom of the tank, the middle of the tank, and the very top of the tank. I personally have never had success with them being all the way up top. Whether it would be too much flow or too much light, I would believe that it would have to be too much light because all my tanks have always been pretty much a low flow system. These here in my tank now are just about at the middle, between the middle and the bottom, right in that, right in that area. And they're getting a little bit of flow coming from the bottom of the tank flowing upward. And you can see that the purple one and on the top there, it's getting a little bit more push, but it's, it's still wide open and happy. And the gold green tip there on the bottom, it's getting more of a indirect flow, a little back and forth there. And this one is very happy as well. So they can tolerate different types of flow, but as long as it's low flow. And here we have the torch coral. Torch coral, I've always kept at the top of my tank to the middle. I believe that these guys like a little bit more light and a little bit more flow. And most of the time, the top of your tank has both. So I've always just kept these at the very top, maybe a little bit lower than the top, and I've always had great success with them. They've always grown well for me. Um, very few of my torch corals have actually eaten um, since I've had them. I used to try to feed them frozen brine and a couple of the different varieties will eat them. They will pull them in and other ones will pull them in and then once you turn your flow back on they just spit them out. So I, I've stopped feeding um, all of my euphelia, all of my euphelia, especially the torch coral because I, I have found that it just it's not beneficial to try to feed euphelia you know they they they're photosynthetic they get what they want out of the water and out of the light um, you can see this one here it's got a good random flow it's not just coming from one direction it's getting hit from all different angles and this one's just very happy at the top of the tank and last but not least the branching frog spawn my favorite. These guys are pretty tough euphelia. They can be at the very top of your tank, the very bottom of your tank, and anywhere in between. I've had them get hit by some pretty high lights and it never really phased them and I've given them a lot of low light where they're pretty much in the shadows and they've done just just wonderful. So if you are going to be starting, you're your getting your first uh, Euphelia, I would definitely recommend Frog Spawn because they're pretty tough corals. These guys here also just like a nice low flow. A little bit of random flow is fine. Um, just no direct current from you know a power head because just like all the other ones, they can um, get they can get sick from the the, the force of the power heads and they could get brown jelly and just die on you and you'll start losing head so just a nice low flow I also want to let you guys know that euphelia corals sting and they sting pretty bad they won't sting you I have never had an experience with euphelia stinging me but they will sting other corals um, torch corals uh, especially will even sting other euphelia so if you have a torch coral too close to your frog spawn or your hammer, 99% chance of the torch coral possibly killing them. If you want to keep the frog spawns and hammer corals near each other, not a problem. I have never had an experience with a frog spawn and a hammer coral 
going at it and competing and killing each other. So if you are going to be getting some euphelia, keep them away from all coral. I had a um, frog spawn completely almost destroy a Duncan and I've also had a hammer literally destroy an Acan. So you want to give them a little bit of room from all your other coral. This concludes my little uh, video on euphelia coral. So I hope you guys, you know, maybe learned something new. Maybe you haven't, but any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And thanks again.